Can you believe there's more of this? Uh, today, I would like to start with the Alpine Shipping and Processing Company, which I feel I've earned somehow, because this map was just sitting there kind of broken for a very long time, uh, and I was doubting that the author would come back to finish it, but I opened it up, uh, the raw upload, and I found inside it there was a map 01 that went nowhere, it was uh, just basically some blank rooms, and there was a map 2, which was a much bigger level uh, that seemed to be the intended upload. So it's like I've discovered a secret level uh, that was submitted here. So uh, we're going to ignore the cones and uh, consider this is probably finished, and uh, we're going to play Airkeeper 3 Airkeeper's map. And yeah, I, I just wandered around the start airing area of this, and I am really glad that I unearthed it, because it looks uh, really atmospheric, really incredible. A lot like the furnace room, uh, the lava factory from uh, Terminator 2. Alright, uh, already down to 7 health, so it's not looking all that promising for me, but we'll see. Okay, that's opened those. Oh. They look unfriendly. I can't wake them up like that. Did I, did I do my traditional, the chainsaw is obviously behind you? Oh, it isn't. Oh, here we go. Ah, back to a normal pallet. I thought they'd be more enthusiastic about chasing me, to be honest. I was uh, regretting my decision to uh, concentrate on the pinky first. Something very satisfying about picking off a zombie man through a crate maze. It's the simple pleasures in life sometimes. Oh yeah, 7th of July, big news today. Uh, Steve Jackson's writing another fighting fantasy book. <laughs> I think it's called Secrets of Salmonia. Uh, it's the first fighting fantasy book in uh, probably decades? I really don't know. Oh, and also uh, that twit with the silly hair resigned. afforded to me by this uh, double door system. Ow, who was that?
I like the little uh, patch of snow where the weather's got in. Because uh, somebody forgot to build the roof on this building. I was expecting that to go in the other direction, I've got to be honest. There's so much you can do with coloured lighting, and I never do it. Really, this whole project is an excuse to give me a library of Doom levels to first test my compiler system, and then to crib from to make my own labs better. Just getting through there. It's probably not worth it, is it? There he goes. All right. Maybe I had one good shot out of 17 there, but it worked. No, oh, I've made a mancubus notice me. Now, I don't think he's going to be able to shoot me from here. Uh, I was right, but uh, I very nearly wasn't. Oh, I'm glad I fell off there. Not a secret, are you serious? Alright. Oops. Um, I think I made a mistake. Well, back to this. Oops. And oh, lucky that was a one of the duff missiles. Oh, I need a red card to get back. Okay, pretty dire situation with the ammunition just now. That didn't help. Oh, the bankers did, though. Thank you. Let me run over your head. Oh, okay, let me uh, clamber up from under my desk where I seem to have dived. <laughs> okay, I only got 20. Uh, I only got 20 ammunition. Red key, though. Ah! He was bound to notice me eventually. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that, and that, thank you.
Okay. Oops. Thought I was going another way. Where do you suppose I can get up? I don't, I don't think I'm going to find any more ammunition that I've left behind, but I'm going to try anyway. There's a little stim pack, that's quite nice. They're still hanging around. I suppose I could try that uh, outdoor area where I was immediately faced with chain gunners. I don't want to, but I think I might have to. Is there a way up or do I have to discover a secret way up? Alright then. Even the, uh, you know, the, this ceiling could so easily have just been plain, but uh, it's it's got such nice complexity to it. That's a lift. Okay, thank you. Let's make our way around the crate maze. And along the ledge, and over here, thank you very much. Anywhere else? There's that armor. Okay. What a bargain. Three secrets of the price of one. And quite a lot of rockets as well. That's uh, really turned the tide. to uh, take a moment there to discover exactly what had opened and whether it was behind or in front of me. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, yeah. Add one more revenant. There he is. Okay. Okay, that's that's a much better order to do things in. And if I get some more ammunition before going down to get the soul sphere, I think I can hold my own against the spectres a bit better. One more chain gun over there. I really like this, uh, how this is um, very classic Doom aesthetic. But it's got the modern touches as well, it's exactly what I like in maps. Okay, where do I go now? This is exactly how I like to do buildings as well, with that uh, extra trim around the top. Makes it look uh, less like it's uh, uh, just disappearing off into the sky.
feel I must have done something here, but uh, I'm not seeing it. Because that's uh, definitely a red door. Oh, please don't tell me this is actually unfinished. If this is actually unfinished, I'm, I'm sticking the ex exit on the end of this, and uh, I'm, call I'm, and I'm calling it finished. Because I really love what you've done here. I'll call it a beta version of whatever you like. I don't know. Install a little lake there, put a sector boat in. Because this is a really nice map. I would hate to have to discard it. Alright, so... Oh, I can't get back down. Alright. Just double checking that there's uh, no way forward. Let me IDDT this. And yeah, that does seem to be the end. Unless there's something down there. Yeah, I think I think we've reached the end of this journey. I'm just going to check one more time because uh, I feel there must be. No, there isn't. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm definitely going to seek out the author and uh, ask if I can just uh, stick an exit on here for the time being because uh, this is this is really good. Erky Perky, wherever you are. Thank you for submitting this. It's time to just relax a bit and watch the planetary weather forecast or something before we get back to it. Uh, we are... I keep on saying this, but we're very close to the end now. Uh, we've just got uh, maybe 10 or 15 maps to go, and uh, these are the ones that are closer to the end of the list. Uh, pretty much all the ones that were in early have been done, and they're completed, and hopefully they don't need to be touched again. <laughs> But there were a couple of uh, later ones as well, and one of them is Chippy's Silly Speed Map. Uh, which is... going to be there. I was going to put an on-screen marker as well, uh, but I'm not sure how it would work uh, with the portals. And possibly more importantly, it means that I have to remember all my trigonometry and stuff that I uh, learned at school, and I, I just can't remember. Here we go! 584 monsters! Alright, well, it was quick to build, maybe not to play. A BFG is a nice uh, relaxation tool as well. Nothing cuts through monsters like that. Oh, there are a lot of you. Oh, I see where this is going. Okay, maybe this will be a quick <laughs> Oh, that's a good uh, supply there. Thank you very much. None of that. Believe I'll let those catch up with me six or seven times. Got rid of the revenants. We'll see what happens next. First of all, I'm going to take some of these supplies. Thank you. 
One more for luck. And we don't have a yellow skull key yet. Uh, we don't have a red skull key either. Supposed to go down here, do you think? That's a no. Hmm. Alright, I suppose we're going this way then. Ow. Missed most of the splash damage. You can't call it the splash damage from a BFG, but... Hit scan damage, ray damage, I don't know. Is there? No, there isn't. I was wondering if there was another entrance. damage uh, done in the direction you were when you started firing or when you finished firing when the ball launches? I can't remember. Oh, came out at a loss there. Oh, I've only got the BFGs. Okay. <laughs> I was just uh, switching down to a super shotgun there to finish the Revenant off. Does the front of that not work? God's sake. Oh, it does. Okay. I thought I'd tried it before. Very good, okay. Still a Megasphere back there, isn't there, in case I need it? Hang on. Oh, it's down here, wasn't it? All right. Grab some help before I uh, go too far into you. I think I had one more here. There we go. All right. That was a mistake. If you get the BFG timing exactly right, sometimes it'll fire a lot faster, but I, I'm not sure what that is. And what do you suppose that did? No secret behind there. There we go, okay. So... Let's head up and get the custard creams. And we're back. Oh, wow. 
using a BFG on an entire horde of enemies can be very therapeutic. I mean, it's the kind of uh, thing that I think Serious Sam was going for when it was released. A return to old first person shooter with tons of enemies. But I never liked Serious Sam. I always thought it was uh, just really empty. The, the, these wide open arenas. Granted, I think I only played the demo of the first game, so it might not all be like that. Thank you. Yep. That's the usual UAC UI experience for you. Okay then. Mm, gonna be a cyber demon or two here, do you think? Well, plenty of lost souls. There's the cyber demon. I hear him, but I don't see him. Okay, that's all I have. What now? <laughs> oh, there it is. Stairs. Let me up. Don't crack me, please. Thank you. <laughs> Can't be more than... 30 monsters in here. There we go, okay. Now, did I hear a cyber demon, or did that, was that just uh, the roar of a thousand million lost souls at once in the end? Oh, no. I did hear a cyber demon. <laughs> Ow! Right, that's it. Cyber demons are getting better at anticipating where I'm moving. All right. Let me just get round to those cells again. Only 78 shots. And now, oh, I suppose there are no monsters left. I'll take the Megasphere anyway. Alright, let's head off into jungles and woods unknown. Hello, what's this? I made this in three hours. Oh, thank you, Chippy. That was very enjoyable. Alright. Definitely the fastest map compared to the number of monsters in it so far. Alright, there is a series as well by Jerry Sheppy that I started uh, with the map called Data, uh, and now there's... Uh, I'm going to murder these because they're Hindi words. Uh, Dyadvam and uh, Damyata. And that means something in Hindi that I did look up and now have clean forgotten, so uh, you'll have to do that yourself. Let's see. There's a lot of blue in this, isn't there? And... Yeah, this one. Okay, and that's just... Uh, <laughs> right next to where I was. 
Let's go. All right. Got a jump enabled market now, at long last. There is a saying among some demons, hell is the oldest thing, but the second oldest thing, well, that would be the fear of hell. But, dear reader, I say to you, gaze out upon the pitiless eternity of hell and be comforted. Leaned into that a bit harder as I went on. Jerry Sheppy's really good at writing these uh, little scenarios. I was convinced uh, in uh, the big library map he did for the previous ramp, actually, that uh, this was all drawn from some uh, Dante poem. But it's all him. A very bleak. I'm skating on corpses here. It's the uh, it's the sloped floor. Yeah. Just suppose that button does. We're safe. Ooh. Let me just uh, before I go down there. Let me see if there's anything else here. Ah, that will come in useful. Kind of a jazzy little piece for hell here. All right. Still as tasteful as ever. See, I... Oh, I, I thought one of them was different, and uh, one of them would be a secret. Of how the hammer called Compassion came to be, in those days the seed of vileness began to grow in realms of time. And I've forgotten the rest, I went out too early, hold on a second. In those days the seed of vileness began to grow in the realms of time, and it happened that one tribe fell upon the members of another tribe and took them away as slaves. Now the Angel of Endings, who is called the Hound of Seth by some... Revenant! I was trying to raid! was passing its way through the cosmos and heard the lamentations of the enslaved. At once the angel brought forth a mighty hammer and with it shattered the shackles of the enslaved, and the time of their enslavement was at an end. Then the angel looked upon what it had done and was greatly pleased, and it said, The name of this hammer shall be called Compassion, for it was because the suffering of the cosmos is my own that I did this thing. This is why the Angel of Endings is also called the Angel of Compassion. I thought there would be more monsters out here, but it was just a lone revenant wanted to spoil my day. Whoa! Hellish force field. Well, it's a stark contrast to the previous map, isn't it? With the, uh... Just the bleak sparseness of this one. Some great architecture. Keeping it very simple while uh, getting the point across. I, I love this, the cracks in the ground. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. Uh, I don't know who you are and uh, you can't hear this. But thank you for subscribing anyway. Can't think why. 
maybe I should actually stream some of these playtests. I usually I like uh, video on demand because I can edit it together afterwards and, and you get me feeling slightly less confused. Oh, look at that, the, the uh, river of skulls being processed. It's like an Aberdeen pie factory. This door seems to be barred at the moment. Perhaps you'll be able to open it later. I don't think that I don't think I needed to do the voice for that one. Yeah, I really like the attention to detail in the buildings here, this uh, gate and everything. Well, it's very uh, adamant that I pick up that berserk. I think I'll need it now. Eh? I thought that was a blue uh, baron, but I think it's just the lighting. Quite efficiently plasmified by that. Okay, well, uh, that was lucky, wasn't it? That berserk. Oh no, I already got it. Okay. And a box of shells. <laughs> Slow, pathetic collapse into the ditch. Let's take... Oh, no, I can't. Okay, let's take that. Thank you. Bit of an awkward jump off the stairs, but uh, we got it. And I think that... Whoa! Oh. Okay, so that's <laughs> another way to get it. Let's jump off to get that. I'm not very good at straight running to the left. I don't know if uh, other right-handed people feel this as well, but I feel it much more uh, comfortable going right. There we go, all right. Except I didn't really need it, did I? So let's continue and uh, do that jump later. Of how the hammer was used to requite the vial. Now when the angel had broken the bonds of the slaves, it said, I have broken shackles of iron, but now the shackles of vileness still lie upon the realms of time. So the angel fell next upon the slavers themselves, and broke their bodies under the hammer, even as the shackles had been broken. And the days of the slave-takers were at an end, and their broken bodies gave up their souls. Then the angel went to the fire and forged chains of adamant, using the same hammer, and with the chains he bound the vile souls in hell. That is why those with wisdom say that compassion both liberates and imprisons, both pardons and condemns.
There's the vial. I was always in complete control there and uh, not feeling that that was an escape route at all. Oh, thank you. Did I get wedged in between them? Kind of. All right. Um, this way? Yeah, this way. Well, thanks for finishing him off. Was that anyone's USB or was... <laughs> Genuinely no idea what uh, keeps making these noises. Well, that showed fairly inexpert uh, handling of the rocket launcher. Very nearly blew myself up there with a descending lift. That's better. Reminded me of uh, Hex and Two just now, except not as boring. Just the uh, layout of this room—it's like the stables from that other game, where you had to get up onto the girders and you had to jump across them, awkward ninety-degree angles, to get to the most well-defended spade in the known universe inside this covered behind a stone door, so you could go and dig up a key. None of that game made any sense. It was, all, it was almost like a dizzy game. <laughs> How you have this alleged goal and you find these puzzles that seem to be completely unrelated in your way and you just solve those because it's something to do. Maybe GZ Doom needs a Dizzy game. Dizzy finally follows Zax to hell. Oh, I've come around to the circle. Begging your pardon. Some good infighting. It continues to be. There we go. Uh, okay, I don't quite need those shells yet, and I'm trying to preserve my ammunition because I have been quite short in the past. More up there. All right. This is a really nicely detailed map. Um, this way. No, that's the top. Let me find my way back up. That's a 
unusual number of shotgun blasts. The trim textures here are great. How did you do that? Are they are those uh, mid textures or are they uh, just you know textures that have uh, combined metal and brick, and that they've been uh, they've been bumped out to make this uh, kind of three D strat? Yeah, I know. Okay. Ooh, that me slightly shotgunned just then. Oh, it was a chain gunner. Yeah, the the offending sound owner put the chain gunner sound back to normal. And I don't like it as much. But really, I think uh, in a non-aesthetic mod like this, it's uh, the responsibility of a, a player to sort out their own sounds, whatever they like playing with. I don't want to force anything onto a player that I don't really necessarily need. Blue skull, red skull, yellow skull. Oh, they're just by there, okay. Alright, so, uh, what now? <laughs> We're gonna have to find some other way. Oh, that's one. No traps. Oh, there it is. It's one of the most delayed key traps I've ever seen. Where'd they go? I had to ask. Not yet. Ah. Whoa, there's no floor there. What a magnificent escape, and entirely intentional. Here. All right. Okay, up we come. Thank you. All 
right. Whoa! I don't remember you being there. Okay, this again. Maybe if I don't step into that room. Right, tasteful skin decorations. A bit leaky. Thank you. Where's the other one? It's not as easy to deal with. Oh, but pretty close. Oh, no, there's another one. Well, that's the easiest triple pain elemental that's ever been. Thank you, pain elementals, for organizing yourselves in that way. Um, was there a secret down there or something? Unsure which is the correct way to go. There's definitely some shells. Well, where? All right. You're up to. Uh, is that red? Yes, it is. Let's go up these stairs. Not those stairs. These stairs. Invitation to use plasma. That's, uh, that's quite a decoration. Divine mercy is a misnomer. Lesser beings show mercy to one another, and show cruelty to one another, and think they perceive the same things when they behold the divine. But what they see is only a single moat out of a hole which they cannot possibly comprehend, and so they, e they err in trying to fit it into their experiences. A mortal which receives mercy, and yea, even a lesser demon being punished for its failures, is like an insect which perceives the fineness or coarseness of mineral under its feet well enough, but does not realize it is climbing a mountain. Okay, well, let's get out of the uh, corpse recycling center as soon as we can. Is this... yeah, I've come full circle. This was uh, where I was trying then. All right. Why did I press that? Nothing good's going to happen out of pressing that. Um. Ah! Nice! 
nicely done. Uh oh, what, what, what? How did they get up? Fair belt of doom going in there. Can I press you? I can. Ah. Nice little secret. And uh, that happens, whatever it is, and then they move on. The uh, decoration storytelling in this map is really something. Alright, oh, okay, that's the other side of that door. Alright. that arch wall before I even noticed it was there. There's something very quaky about the way this map uses 3D. I mean, I, th I think the quality is just it does it more than standard Doom does. And it's got all these shapes and things above on the roof and everything. I'm watching you. Alright, I could get that, but I don't really need it yet. And the blue door was down here. Okay. And that's another use of 3D floors, that you can have monsters that are behind the player. Right as they come into somewhere. <laughs> These spiders don't uh, make the great ambushes because they're so bloody loud. Ragnatron E102 Gamma, follow him, keep your distance. Okay. Psh, 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 psh. Considering my weapon use there, oh, because I wanted to get rid of those cacodemons quickly, but I had no real need to, and I think that's paying off now. That uh, when you absolutely need speed, uh, that's what the rocket launchers for.
Oh, who did I wake up? Very neat line of spiders. Is that everything? Alright. Compassion is, literally in many languages, the choice to suffer together with another. In the mortal realm, suffering is often perceived as pointless. In the true cosmos, it is anything but. There is no act of murder or torture a demon can perform, regardless of how casual it seems, that is not gravid with meaning. And because compassion is suffering, compassion is a thing that the more intelligent demons take very seriously indeed. Let me ask you, dear reader, whose suffering are you going to share? Or who are you going to share your suffering with? Share this double-barreled shotgun with some demons, that should cause some suffering. Are we outside again? Oh. They who would walk the path of compassion as justice should pass through the fire that they may be forged. Um, what are my other options? They who would walk the path of compassion as mercy should pass through the water that they may be cleansed. And the other one? They who would not walk either path should hurl themselves into the pit. Okay, let me save first. <laughs> Every choice has implications. Yeah. Uh, I suppose... Let's try the fire. Your potential has been unlocked by the fire, but you must still be formed by the Master Smiths. This is really interesting. Ah! You know what? I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that one, and then I'm going to load my quick save, and save that one as an actual save, and then reload that, so I can uh, go back and try the water route the next time. Was well, it not a cyber demon around here or something? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's teleporting. Great. Do I just have to face him? The round openings with the bars are an interesting uh, decorative feature in this map. Alright, I suppose uh, there's nothing for it. Just gonna see if I can find some cells first. No, I've been there. Um, perhaps not. Well, this is going to take a while, isn't it? Oh, I know why the fog looks strange sometimes. It's because the sky doesn't fog. And how would you? I don't even know.
<laughs> Prove yourself. Well, they can handle that themselves. I'm proving myself a delegator. <laughs> I wonder what the water route's like. <laughs> You've re-emerged amidst the landscape of untrilled trillions of bones. What place does Mercy have here? Perhaps that is the point of your choice, that you will have the opportunity to find out. Pass unmolested from this place, mortal, but be swift about it. Yeah, I prefer passing unmolested, that's nice. Did you make the right choice? Well, you didn't make a wrong choice. Sometimes that is enough. Oh, that was amazing! Again, a little on the long side for ramp, but... Uh, really, I am very intrigued. I, I want a whole uh, four-episode series about this, whatever you're doing. I don't know what it is, but continue. Shall we do the escape? Uh, that's map 106, and it's uh, one of those that uh, was uh, kind of dumped into the uh, into the collection, and then uh, I don't know where the author is, but it's something that I've been wondering. Oh, of course it's blue, because I went in to test it, and all its textures were missing. Uh, because it had been made using Otex PK3 version, which has separate lump names for flats. They start with a zero. Uh, Whereas the WOD version uses O flat names, uh, and I, I had to convert them all over, but I think you'll agree that the result is worth it. Here we go. It still says A there. I'll investigate that. Oh. They didn't escape. They died trying. Is this like a guard dog? Thank you very much. I love the little cans of spray paint there as well. Woo! Not something a bit weird about this car, do you know? Exit. Yeah. Oh, I like the uh, space lobby. All uh, right, I've gone there to the prison. Didn't like it. Well, let's try the water cave. Excuse me. Aha. Well, that was definitely a worthy addition to the arsenal, but I didn't get any keys or anything from it. Maybe I should be looking elsewhere. Got him. 
This has been the double barrel shotgun update. There isn't anything else in here, was there? I love the uh, light shining through the grill. Great use of dynamic lights as well here. The jutting out light up there reminded me of uh, Unreal. Well, one monster's been intelligent enough to escape the maze. Oh, I see, okay. The classic, uh, I think this is from Duke Nukem, the chair. I like the little server as well. Oh, look at this architecture. That's great. The uh, sort of crumbling stones and archways. That's really good. Whoa, okay. Oh, no, I'm not going to have to go into a sewer again, am I? I had enough of those places. Uh, that's where I came from. In here? Ah! Should perhaps have been looking where I was going. <sighs> Is this light leading me somewhere dangerous or somewhere good? Ha! Give me a little jeep! That's very sweet. And there's the, uh, that's really nice. This uh, Is this a skybox? Or is this, uh, no, I think that's actual... That's actually there, in the level, just across the water. All right, well, let's uh, get into here. On the right-hand side, I noticed, uh, which which seems unusual to me now after I've spent so long in America. It's weird that uh, to think that I used to drive on the right. Uh, well, I used to drive on the left-hand side of the road, the right-hand side of the car, you know. You know, it's not a mistake you make more than once. Anyway, what... what uh, Nice, really big, strangely, map. Some, some of the places were a lot bigger than uh, the amount of monsters uh, really called for, but I think the all the rooms and the layout was incredible. I've talked for long enough that the music's loop around. Alright, that's probably enough for this time, uh, but stay tuned, we'll get there. <laughs>